He is dead. The man I called Bernard. The man who kept a book in his pocket in which he made notes. Phrases for the moon. Notes of features. How people looked, turned, dropped their cigarette ends. Under B, butterfly powder. Under D, ways of naming death. But now let the door open. The glass door that is forever turning on its hinges. Let a woman come. Mrs. Mrs. Adeline! I am sat here on the turf somewhere high above the flow of the sea and the sound of the woods. I have seen the tables and chairs, the party, and the waves breaking. That old nurse Mrs. comes Adeline. running. Mrs. Adeline! She who turns the pages of the picture book and says, Look, this is the truth. She is running now, clumsily, down the shore towards me. Oh my God, Mrs. Adeline! So now, taking upon me the mystery of things just past, I could go like a spy without leaving this place, without stirring from my chair. I have escaped that etherizing prison. Day rises. The waves deepen their bars. They fling themselves on shore. Back blows the spray. Sweeping their waters, they surround me. Oh, my Lord! Oh, but there is your face. I catch your eye. I, who had been thinking myself so vast, a temple, a church, a whole universe, unconfined and capable of being everywhere, on the verge of things and here too, am now nothing but what you see. An elderly woman, rather heavy and grey above the earth. My hat is off. I have dropped my stick. I have made an awful ass of myself and am justly laughed at by any passerby. Heavens above! How long have you been out here? On the beach and everything? Oh my days, Miss Adeline! You're going to be ill set out here all by yourself. Lord, how unutterably disgusting life is! What dirty tricks it plays us! One moment free, the next this. Call the waiter, pay the bill. We must ourselves up out of our chairs. We must find our coats. Oh, um, don't worry about all that. Um, oh, oh, doctor, I, I don't know what to say. Bring her round. I have a rescue vehicle along the bank. Yes, doctor. How long has she been out here? At least 14 hours. Let me cast and throw away this veil of being, this cloud that changes with the last breath, night and day, and all night and all day. While I sat here, I have been changing. I have watched the sky change. I have seen clouds cover the stars, then free the stars, then cover the stars again. Now I look at their changing no more. Now no one sees me. And I change no more. Mrs. Adeline, are you okay? I, I, I tired as I am, spent as I am, and almost worn out. There is a sense of the break of the day. I will not call it dawn. What is dawn to an elderly woman sitting on the beach, looking up rather dizzily at the sky? The bars deepen themselves between the waves. The film of mist thickens on the horizon. A bird chirps. Yes. This is the eternal renewal. The incessant rise and fall and fall and rise again. And in me too the wave rises. It swells, it arches its back. I am aware once more of a new desire. Something rising beneath me. What enemy do we now perceive advancing against us? Death is not the enemy. It is death against whom I ride with my spear couched and my hair flying back like a young man's, like Percival's, when he gallops to India. I strike spurs into my horse. Against you I will fling myself, unvanquished and unyielding. Oh, death! The waves break on the shore.